Okay, so um, hello and welcome to day four of the Devon Coast to Coast backpack. Um, we're pitched up uh, near to the Warren House Inn. I don't know what the road number is or anything, but it's on the road that goes to Post Bridge, Two Bridges, Princetown. And it's a fantastic pub. I highly recommend it if you're in the area. Uh, so we've done... What was it, at least 24 kilometres? Yep. 24 kilometres today. Um, we started from Higher Micklecombe Farm this morning at half seven. The, there are ponies galloping past the tents, so... That's what, that's what the noise is. It's crazy. Um, uh, yeah, we started, it was a bit of rain this morning, but then it cleared up and then it was um, relatively cool. We got a good st early start and that was good because the climb um, from, I even wrote it down, it was so intense. Uh, Newbridge Hill, the climb up Newbridge Hill is brutal. I'm sorry about the swaying, it's quite windy. Um, so we got up early and we managed to do that before it got too hot and it was quite a hard climb but we did it and that was great and we managed to get to Widdicombe in the moor by lunchtime. Uh, we saw some t just stunning views of the River Dart Valley um, and the, 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 the little bit was called <laughs> Uh, Dr. Blackall's Drive. This is way too wobbly. I'll just hold it. Um, along Dr. Blackall's Drive, along the River Dart, today was stunning. I've not been there before. It was gorgeous. Um, then we got to Widdicombe in the moor and we had lunch at the Old Inn, I think. Yeah, the Old Inn in Widdicombe in the Moor. And we had a really good lunch. And there were loads and loads and loads of chickens in the garden, including some really baby chickens that were super cute. Um, and all these old Mercedes turned up. It was like a Mercedes owners club cars, uh, owners club rally. And um, that was terrific. It, they were just beautiful. So that was fun. And um, we had some cider and we had some lunch. And then we carried on and we climbed up onto the moor. So we did Widdicombe Beacon. No, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. We climbed up onto the moor. We did the beacon, we did the tours, we did Hookney tour, we did Grimm's Pound. Um, it was very hot this afternoon. It was a, a heck of a walk. We did, I think, a, some, some like 800 metre climb. I can't remember. Um, over the day. It was a lot. And we are, and then we got to the pub at about 6, 6.30 ish. Had pies which were great and some scrumpy cider which was great so that was good it, it's it was good we found an ice cream van at gridref sx694731 ice cream van just as you come off the mall it's perfect timing um what else did we know oh the little river dart no 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 no, no. Do, do. the webburn river between Ponsworthy and Jordan, super pretty, super pretty little bit. Um, reading, reading, reading. So yeah, I'm doing all right, doing all right. Physically very tired today. Had a bit of rubbing. My clothes are rubbing because it was so hot. We were just getting really sweaty too much information but we were and things were rubbing 
Um, but touch wood, my feet are okay. No injuries yet. You know, so I say yet. I'm just like hedging my bets there. Um, super hot weather, just enough cloud and breeze so that we didn't melt. But I mean, it's really humid. Um, kit wise, little kit update. This is going on a bit. This one. Uh, tent is excellent so far. Really, really good. Very livable space. Very easy to pitch, very easy to take down, very comfortable. Porch is a nice, lovely, big size. Very happy with it. Um, sleeping bag is too hot for this time of year, but compared to how cold it was last week, it would have been fine. So I couldn't really have predicted the fact that it would have been this hot this week. I haven't used my insulated jacket at all, but you know, I might have done so. Uh, the Primus legs for my gas canister are so useful. When you've got something that's sort of wobbly and tall and thin, these make it stable. Little thing, but so great. Um, so that's really good. And uh, the Krako Alp, Alp kit stove is not as efficient as the Primus stove with the heat exchanging pot on top. But then that's to be expected and the weight saving was worth it, I think. It takes a little longer to make my coffee, but no big deal. Um, good quote from Orson Welles that we saw at the pub today. Ask not what you can do for your country, ask what's for lunch. I don't think there's much more to add to that. Catch you in the next one.